What do you see as the biggest opportunity now within e-commerce for people, you know, on the new side of things? What would you advise to them? First of all, focus on your brand. You have to spend time on it. Pick a name with purpose. Pick a name with purpose that also follows a direct response um, uh, formula, right? Um, and then make sure that your brand resonates with the audience that, you, that you're going to be selling to and that also align with the products you're going to be on your store. Don't just give me a text-based logo. Um, you know, don't just use the, the free version of Shopify, you know, spend the $90 and, and get one of their premium templates and spend time. If you're not a designer, find one on Upwork and Freelance. You want to front load your branding and make your website easy to use. You know, the people want to trust it when, when they land on it and spend some time in your brand. Make sure you get the, the the exact Facebook domain, the exact Instagram handle, make sure all of that stuff is available, um, get a nice logo made. And then what happens is, so here's what you do. You 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 find five products that, that you think are are your winning products because they, they follow a direct response from you. If they're overseas, when, you, when you're contacting the person before you purchase on AliExpress, message the seller. Say, hey, I want boxes with no lettering on them. I want plain white boxes it'll really help you out because you're either going to get it with broken English on the box or a brand that you actually, that it actually isn't your brand. Um, and, and I'll tell you about that in a second, or you're going to get uh, foreign lettering on the box, big no, no. Um, and so order the five products and, and make sure you've done your research. I'm kind of skipping, I'm skipping through the research because I know we're going to get there in a minute, but order the five products. When the products come in, take nice photography. Also, if you have an iPhone 7 Plus, if you have an iPhone 7, 6 Plus, 7 Plus, 8 Plus with that with that newer camera on it, it shoots 4K video. And if you get the correct lighting, you can actually take pretty nice photos um, on your iPhone. But anyways, take photos of the packaging. Remember, the reason why you want that no lettering and no foreign lettering on it, you want the, the, the box to be plain. I often request a plain white box if possible on what I'm ordering. Um, but it should be the actual packaging that it would ideally come in. You're going to ask them, you're going to tell them, this is the formula when I message them, hey, I'm looking to make bulk orders of this product. However, this is a test run. Is it possible if I order three, is it possible for you to give me packaging that has no lettering on it? If they say no, then move on to the next one. There's usually a second seller for that. Find that seller that is willing to give you that product with no lettering on the packaging. When it gets there, take photos of the packaging. When it's white, you can go on Upwork and have really anyone who's decent at Photoshop put your logo on the packaging. Now it looks like a branded product you own. I know that's not the cheapest way to go about it, but now you have great quality photography of the of the box that it comes in, then take it out of the box. Of course, take photography of that. Um, and then create a five second video to get a five second video that shows the value or the product in use. So people know right away what that is, turn it into a GIF, a high quality GIF, put it on the product page. Now you have the video for ads for your direct response ads on yep. Facebook and such. You have the GIF on the product page. You also have a video video that you're able to embed on the product page. But now what you have is you have a product that's in China. You have it here. You have quality branded photography, great video uh, for not only your website, uh, but also for direct response ads. Now get all five of those products up for sale on your website. Start running your ads. When you get orders, this is what happens. You know they're being dropped. You're potentially using Oberlo or whatever the other uh, competitors are. Dropified, yeah. Yeah, dr dropified. This is, this, this is the, this is something again, five products. Don't get, don't go product crazy. Test a bunch of audiences. When you're getting your first initial sales on those products, pick up the phone and call these people or say, Hey, my name's, you know, my name's Colin McGuire. I own XYZ company. I saw your order come through. First of all, I wanted to thank you for your order. Second of all, I'm currently out of stock on that product, but um, a lot of, and, and I, I just sold out. I just ordered more for my manufacturer. Um, so it's gonna, it, it might, it might be a little while. Um, a lot of people have been finding me on Facebook recently and that product sold out really quick. They're going to say this. Oh yeah. I found you on Facebook too. Yeah. No shit. Because that's the only way, only way I'm getting traffic to this website and this product. And you say, I'm, I may have my manufacturer 
ship the product to you directly. I will let you know soon. And now she had connected with the business owner from something she purchased online. They called her. They thanked her for their order. She now has the expectation set that this thing is not coming very quickly. You have two to four weeks now to get that product from China in white packaging to her doorstep. So now, once you've found three products that are winning, now's when you knock up and you order 50, 60, 70, 80 of them in that white packaging from, from overseas. Get them here, put them in your bedroom. I've seen people order 500, 600, 1,000 at a time for a few products when, when they follow this formula. Get a, get a $45 a month storage unit locally. I live in Chicago, so they're, they're all over the place downtown. And guess what? They have a, most of them have Wi Fi. They have an outlet for your label printer. You can, you can go and fulfill your boxes there. But anyways, get them here. You're winning products. Now keep running those ads. And when they get here, you can stop picking up the phone and calling Karen and you can just start shipping them out. Now they're your products. You own them here in the States. Um, and so, and again, if products do die quickly, so you got to make sure that you, you're not ordering too much. Don't, don't give yourself.